Hello and welcome to another episode of Pimp My Blythe. Today I'll be working on my girl Lilo and I decided to do something a little bit different with her. While I'm working on my Harajuku girl, I just kind of happened to be looking at Lilo and I thought, you know what? I just feel like carving your face today, so let's do it. <laughs> something different that I've done with this doll and not the others is I've just taken her apart in different increments. I didn't completely dismantle her. Um, for example, yes, I did take off the back plate of her head. And yes, I did remove the eye mechanism, but I didn't completely take apart the eye mechanism. I just wanted to paint the eyelids. So I kept it all together and carefully, carefully painted around the eyelashes and things like that um, just to see what it would be like to do it that way. <laughs> uh, and so since I'm doing this one in pieces or in parts and not customizing her all at once, I thought, well, why not document the process and see if it goes well or horribly? <laughs> we shall see. I also chose not to sand her face first and just go right in and carve. I took her apart and I just started to have at it. I really wanted to experiment with an open mouth, so that's what I went in and did. I have not painted her face yet. Uh, basically, I just sanded her face and did some carving and sanded some more. <laughs> And then I put her back together after painting her eyelids because I didn't want to have a bunch of dolls that weren't together yet. However, I'm very happy with how she's coming along. Really, all I need to do is give her the sleepy eyes and um, give her a face up and she will be finished. So that's exciting. Oh, and I also need to do the pull strings, add some kind of a... I don't know, something unique for her little dolly character. So I've been having so much fun with these blies. They're such a great vacation for me, just a, a, an artistic outlet and a way to kind of distress, unwind, and um, just be artistic. So uh, yeah, this is just an experiment. I'm not again a professional at any of this this is just me experimenting and learning along the way uh, but I hope you can enjoy watching me <laughs> stumble on through uh, I love that so many of you have begun collecting blights as well and I just can't wait to see what you guys do with them because the there's so much room for creativity and customization and every single one of them turns out differently and I think that's part of the uh, charm to these little dolls <laughs> so anyway I hope you guys are all doing great and hopefully this video will not cut off or have any kind of a uh, corruption like my previous video I again I apologize about that I will double and triple check this video just to be sure. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.